adopted Zeke about four months after my previous dog had passed away. I had spent a lot of time online looking at various uh, uh, rescue organizations trying to find the right dog. It's like the canine version of online dating. Like, oh my God, look at that profile, he's so cute. Oh my God, he's got such a wonderful smile. And much like online dating, you swipe right, have a few text messages, and the next thing you know, you're going on a first date. Except in this case, the first date was meeting a transport in the uh, parking lot of a hotel. So it's kind of like a first date and a drug buy all in one. <laughs> so Zeke was a three-year-old mutt who uh, had come from a high kill shelter down south. Uh, I liked his profile online because he did have a smile. Uh, I found out years later that he's a duck tolling retriever, and if you happen to believe that dogs resemble their owners, then it's kind of true. Uh, tollers, as they're known, are reserved and smart and stubborn and like to roll around in mud and things that stink. And so yes, I do wear my gym clothes more than once to the gym without washing them. <laughs> But I want to state for the record, I don't eat my own poo the way Zeke does. <laughs> so after about 24 hours of having Zeke home, I start to get this feeling that maybe I've made a very hasty decision. It's very much like the feeling you get on a date when the guy tells you about his Garfield stuffed animal collection <laughs> and you run to the ladies' room and start texting your friend, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> See, we had a biting incident. And then a few weeks later, we had another biting incident and a couple of close calls. And I'm really struggling with myself about what I'm going to do with this dog and how I'm going to provide for him in a safe environment. And about this time, I have to take him to the vet for an emergency situation he's throwing up. And so the vet takes him back to the exam room and comes out to me in the waiting room 30 minutes, an hour later, and says, what do you know about this dog? And I say, well, he's from a high kill shelter in the south. I think he's a mud. I don't really know. And they say, his entire side is filled with buckshot. There's so much we can't operate, and I don't think he's in pain, but I thought you should know. And all of a sudden, it made a lot of sense about why Zeke was the way he was. And so that night, when I took him home, and he laid down on his dog bed, I laid down next to him and I whispered in his ear, buddy, I promise you that you will always have a home with me and I will love you and I will take care of you. Now at this point, you all might think that this turns into a fairy tale, but I ain't Caesar Milan the dog whisperer. <laughs> so no, instead what I have done is designed a lifestyle that allows me to have a dog who is aggressive and bite prone and should you come to my house, will treat you like you have on a Lady Gaga meat dress. <laughs> I've read a book called Your Dog is Your Emotional Mirror. I'm going to save you the $23.95. It's all my fault. Uh, I have paid a college tuition worth of money to various dog trainers, and we've established a protocol about how a dog can come into my, or a person can come into my home and meet the dog. Um, you really find out who your friends are when you say to them, hey, you want to come over and help me practice with my aggressive, bite-prone dog? This is how it's going to work. OK, you're going to knock on the door. I'm going to open it. And if Zeke is good, he gets a treat. And if he lunges, we're just going to hope I can control a 70-pound dog. And then some of you regulars uh, may have seen me at the July Story Slam, where I announced to everyone a very important public announcement is that I was single. And you can imagine what it's like coming home from a date and the gentleman walks me up to the door and behind the door you hear Zeke and all of his ferociousness wanting to tear you apart. So um, I think it's safe to assume that there's not a lot of sex going on in my house <laughs> other than Zeke licking his junk <laughs> incessantly at 2 a.m. So, I've been Zeke's human now for about six years, and we've seen each other through a lot of life transitions, and we're about to see each other through another one, because that online dating thing works for humans too, and I met a really great guy, and we had a really fantastic first date. But if my promise to Zeke has taught me anything, I have to ask him two very important questions. Number one, do you bite? 
Number two, do you own a meat shirt? 